the mosquito, frozen in time for millions of years, and trapped within it, well, that discovery would change our world. For a while, we thought that this was as close as we could get to dinosaurs. Turns out, we were wrong. Years of research into how to complete the DNA sequence for a dinosaur led us to this. Life unlike anything seen on this planet for 65 million years. Jurassic Park. We know how well that went. But what if someone like you had been there to temper some of that rampant hubris? For Jurassic Park to succeed, you're going to need to make sure it's safe for all your guests. This is the adventure of their lifetime. We don't want it to be their last. Wonderful, isn't it? This is a paradise, but it is missing what it once had, until we bring them back. This place will show people something spectacular. Dinosaurs, no longer confined to our imaginations. Dinosaurs in the flesh. And the moment people see them, that moment of astonishment, of magic, well, you're going to be a part of that spectacle. Jurassic Park will open on schedule, and the world will be as it once was, a land of the dinosaurs. Ah, good, good. Glad to see you're getting settled in. I want to introduce you to Lily Halford, who is our Director of Operations here at the park. She'll get you up to speed. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. Uh, John, please. Oh, right then. As Dr. Hammond, oh, John, has already told you, our goal is to get Jurassic Park fully operational as quickly and safely as we can. We are literally doing things that were considered impossible, so it will be a challenge. Making the impossible possible. Yes, yes, I rather like that. We will need to prep the facility for the dinosaurs. Begin with a functioning visitor center and a science center. And remember that both must be connected to pathways. Oh, and power as well. I can see that all is in good hands. Do carry on. We'll keep you updated. Splendid. Absolutely splendid.
Jurassic Park has a top geneticist. Top. Dr. Henry Wu. I should expect that you'll be meeting him soon. That is, if you haven't already. I'm settled in and ready to get started. So if we're to get the dinosaurs we want, we first need a hatchery. If you could construct one, then my staff and I can get to work.
Velociraptors. Yes, we're going to start with raptors. I know you may have concerns, but both John and I agree that they represent some of our most viable candidates. You'll need to synthesize their eggs using the available genome research I've provided. And of course, let me know the results the moment you have them. Our first synthesis was unsuccessful, which means that we clearly have room for improvement, but we don't stop. We get better. I've identified some areas in the synthesis process that need further research. See what you can learn at the Science Center and get back to me. We're beginning with raptors? I'm not sure we're ready. Every precaution has been taken. I'm following the science, and these dinosaurs are our best chance at success. We've learned so much, and we'll continue to learn as we move forward. Yes, yes, of course. And I do understand your concern, Miss Halford. Every dinosaur carries a certain amount of risk. And it's our job to mitigate it as much as possible. Keep the lawyers out of my hair and the dinosaurs safely and happily within their enclosures, and you shall have my eternal gratitude. Dr. Hammond, does that mean we have your authorization to proceed? Yes, most enthusiastically. <laughs> 